Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is how to use Quixel Bridge and Megascans inside of your Unreal Engine 5 projects. So the reason why I'm creating this video is because it's different to how we did it in Unreal Engine 4. Some people might get a little bit confused, I know I did when I first wanted to use this. So I'm just creating this video and clearing up of how to use it. So with the release of Unreal Engine 5 which is quite a while ago now but in Unreal Engine 5 Quixel Bridge is now built in and fully integrated within Unreal Engine 5 so you no longer need any external apps for this to work. So let's just get right into it, I don't have an overview, let's get right into what we're doing. So one thing we're going to need to check is we go to Edit, Plugins, if we search for Bridge you should have a plugin called Bridge automatically enabled. This should come pre-installed with the engine and also already enabled like this. So make sure that is on and that's activated. Then we're going to close this like so. Next all we need to do is go up to our add to project up at the top here so quickly add to the project then we're going to go to Quixel Bridge if it's not there for you it might be under content browser then Quixel Bridge but you should have a tab here which will then open the Quixel Bridge so we'll open that like so and now we have this Quixel Bridge here so before you used to have to go through an app which was basically this and then if we were to find something so let's go 3D assets and then let's go to building for example and then wall you can see we have all these assets here what you used to have to do was select it, download it and export it. Now what we can do is if we to minimize this slightly, we can now just simply drag and drop into our level. So let's just drag and drop this into here like so and you'll get a preview and then it will fully load in like so. So now we have this asset into our project perfectly like this. It is that simple. We can simply just drag and drop it in like this. And now you'll also notice if you go to a content browser, we have a new folder called Megascans, 3D Assets or whatever it is that you imported and we have all of these things here. I have four things because I added in another three at the beginning before recording this video just to test it out to make sure it's still working. So this is what we've got. If that doesn't work for you, you might want to make sure that you are logged in. So up at the top right, you just you want to sign in here and you'll sign in with your Epic Games account. But we've got many things in here, we've got 3D assets, we've got textures, we've got decals, whatever it is that you want, we have so much stuff in here. Megascans is absolutely amazing, it's all free and available to use within your projects. So this is very very powerful and something you're definitely going to want to utilise within your games, which is why I'm showing it off here. So again we have access to all these different things, so we can get some railings in here as well. And obviously this is going to work within the game too, so if we were to press play, we can see we can interact with all of these. They might not have collision by default, they don't. So obviously if they don't have collision, you just want to open up the static mesh and add in that collision for you instead. So a very simple way of doing it is just collision complexity. Use complex collision as simple. Well, I would not recommend doing that for all of them at all because obviously that's complex collision. So I wouldn't recommend it. You want to add in your own custom stuff. But for something basic and simple like this, that should work. Although it didn't, which means this has absolutely no collision at all. So if we go to collision, we can auto convex collision, apply, and we should notice we've now got some basic collision on here. Again, this isn't the best way of doing it, I'm just doing it very quickly, although I should actually move that out of the way so it doesn't just teleport the player like that. But you'll notice that we did then have collision now, so we can now walk up these stairs like so. So again, very simple way of adding in something into your project and giving it some collision if it doesn't already. Because again, it looks like none of these do have collision by default, but again, we have access to these amazing free assets. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've just enabled Quixel Megascans and Quixel Bridge inside of our Unreal Engine 5 project and we can now use this to just import any assets we want, whether it's 3D assets, textures, materials, foliage, whatever it is that you want, you can quickly add it into your game perfectly like so. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.